Hey guys, it's your girl T, and I want to go ahead and shout out Damone Young on my Facebook page. Damone sent me this crazy story. So if you guys have not heard, it's about this 12-year-old boy named Reginald Wells. And basically what happened is that Reginald said that he was basically making fun of his teacher's team because his favorite football team had lost, and the teacher got so upset that he knocked them smooth out. The teacher basically uppercutted the little boy, knocked them smooth across the hallway, and when this poor kid came to, he was miraculously on the news. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip right now, and I will come back with the rest of my commentary. She is seeking legal representation after her 12-year-old son claims he was assaulted by his teacher. Good evening, I'm Erica Harris. Thanks for joining us for 12 News HD. Seventh grader Reginald Wells says he received this swollen lip at the hands of his teacher, one of his teachers rather, at Smith Middle School Friday afternoon when he claims the teacher punched him in the face and knocked him unconscious for seemingly no reason. Reginald and his mother spoke exclusively with our 12 News HD reporter Adam Wright about at their home in Beaumont today. Adam joins us live in studio with more on what they are telling us about this incident. Adam. Well, Erica, Reginald's mother says he's a very good student and a well-behaved young man who's never given her any trouble. That's why she cannot understand what would cause a grown man to do what her son claims he did on Friday. And Reginald He's just as confused as his mother. 12-year-old Reginald Wells says something happened at school Friday that still blows his mind. The last person voice I heard was some girl saying that I should call my mom and then he like hit me and I blacked out. Reginald, a 7th grade student at Willie Ray Smith Middle School, says Friday afternoon he stopped in the hallway to chat with an assistant teacher from his math class. He says he cracked a joke about the teacher's favorite football team, then... All of a sudden he just hit me in my shoulder. And I looked at him and I was like, like, what the heck? Reginald, 4 foot 11 and weighing 80 pounds, says he then pushed the teacher's shoulder. That's when he claims the teacher blindsided him with a punch to the face that knocked him out. He says he woke up a few seconds later. In my head, it was like pounding. Reginald's mother, Adrian, says she was briefed by the principal about what happened based on what another teacher says he saw. He said Reginald was punched in the shoulder and then hit twice and uppercut and slid across the floor. My heart weighed heavy because I've never put my hands on my son. Adrian says the teacher was escorted off the premises and fired on the spot. But before that, Reginald says the teacher said something to him. He said, I can't apologize for what I did. I was just having a bad day and I just snapped. Adrian says she cannot believe the teacher was not arrested. For you to let a teacher do that to him and just walk off, he's fired and walk off. I can't accept that. Adrian filed a report with BISD police and wants to press charges, but says no one with the school district has contacted her since Friday. I'm just not understanding. You know, I know it's a lot of stuff going on with BISD, but they first and priority is to protect the kids. Reginald did tell us the name of the teacher, but we are holding off releasing that until we can get the situation confirmed by the school district. Now, we have left several messages with BISD police chief Clyde L. Duncan but have not heard back from him at this time. Reporting live in studio, Adam Wright, 12 News HD. Thank you, Adam. We also spoke to BISD spokesman Ron Reynolds. He told us he was not aware of the situation, but will look into it tomorrow. He also told us to call Assistant Superintendent Patricia Lambert. All right, she has so you guys watch a news clip. And first of all, I think the, the real story of this needs to be who the hell is Willie Ray Smith? I'm like, who is Willie Ray Smith and how did he get a school named after him? I've never heard that name ever. So anyways, the little boy goes to Willie Ray Smith uh, Middle School and him and his teacher get into it. And I like how he's describing the whole event. I walked up to my teacher and I was basically making fun of him because his team lost. And my teacher, you know, he just, he just he shoved me in my shoulder. And I looked like, what the heck? And then I just shoved him back. And then all of a sudden he just uppercut me and he punched me and I just went flying across the hall. You know, the whole story just made me laugh like this is insane and there has to be more to the story. First of all, this little boy is 12 years old and he's my son's age and I know how boys get when they talk about football and everything else. All they do is run their mouth and talk shit. And he probably done pissed the teacher off so much because the teacher probably had money on the game. And then here comes this little 12-year-old kid with a smart-ass mouth. Teacher ain't know how to handle it. He just knocked the little boy out. 
But with that being said, it wasn't right. There's no excuse. You have to learn how to contain yourself. You know, some of these kids, they have some vicious mouths. I don't think he's as innocent he's making himself out to be. I don't think he said what the heck. I think there was more to it than that. And the mother can miss me with all that crying, talking about she's never whipped her kid before. She's never beat on her child, please. The little boy's 12 years old. Everybody don't whoop their kids. Everybody don't have their ass whooped. Keep it 100, mom. Quit fronting for the news cameras. So... With that being said, I do feel like the teacher had no business putting his hands on them. As adults, we do have to learn restraints, but I think a lot of these kids, too, need to also stay in kids' places. You know, first of all, that's your teacher. So, certain teachers you can joke with, certain teachers you can't, but at the end of the day, kids need to stay in their place. And I think there's just too many kids out here thinking that they've grown, they can just go to adults and say whatever, clown them, you know. Some adults can handle it, some adults know how to be adults and just brush it off. Other adults, you know, just be ready to damn fight any and everybody, including 12-year-olds. So I think a lot of kids need to take this as a lesson learned. You can't just go up and talk shit to any and everybody because some adults are not playing with kids no more. Now, do I think that he should be arrested? Yes, I do, because if this man would have hit me or another adult, it would be considered assault. And for him to uppercut the little boy, punch him, and <laughs> knock him smooth across the hallway, he needs to go to jail for that. You know, that was just straight-up assault. Regardless of what the little boy was doing, regardless of the little boy was taunting him, you still have to be the mature one in the situation and just walk away. But for the little boy to say that he hit the teacher back, I feel like there's more to the story. I feel like they might have been arguing about something. And I, I definitely feel like there's more to the story. I feel like there's a little bit of a cover-up. But at the end of the day, the little boy is sitting here with bruises and a busted lip. And, you know, there were witnesses saying that he went flying across the hallway. So something went down, and they need to do a further investigation instead of just firing the teacher. You know, I think that he should have charges pressed on him. So please leave a comment if you know who this school is named after, because I've never heard about this person ever in history class. So let me know your thoughts on the entire situation. Do you think the teacher should be arrested? And do you feel like there's more to the story as far as what happened between him and the teacher? So let me know your thoughts. All right. Deuces.